Well, Rich, one year later, this community is still grieving the loss of the young woman whose life was cut way too short. However, tonight's ceremony may be one more stop on the road to healing. The service and sacrifice of your loved one will never be forgotten. And Sergeant Devin tonight, Snyder would have turned uh, 22 today. There's no birthday cake Canadian. and candles. Snyder yeah, lost her life in Afghanistan no last June. Himself. Today, more than a year later, her hometown of Cohocton is remembering her in a very tangible way. <laughs> Renaming a portion of Interstate 390 in her honor. It is a bittersweet occasion for her parents, Ed and Deneen Snyder. There isn't a day that goes by that we don't think about her. Miss her. This sign and renaming the highway is gratifying. The Snyders say their daughter loved this country. She loved what she did. She died doing what she loved. And I guess as a parent, I wouldn't want it any I wouldn't want it any other way, but I just wish she had done with us a whole lot longer. Dozens of people came out. This is meaningful to the community. Even a year later, it still helps us, people that were close to the family, the whole communities, these small communities heal still. As a community and as people who knew her personally, we don't want other people to forget her. We'll never forget her, but now we know nobody else can ever forget her either. The Snyder say it's still disappointing that our troops are in Afghanistan and soldiers are dying. Two other Snyder children are also serving in the military. All right, Lynette Adams, thank you for that report tonight.